We are going to go ahead and this is the second video of our heat problem. Solve a um, specific heat problem. And the problem we're going to solve states how much energy in calories and in joules. So we're going to do this problem twice. Will it take to raise the temperature of 75 grams of water from 20 degrees to 55 degrees Celsius? The formula that we're going to use to solve this problem is Q equals M times C times delta T. What do all of it, those variables mean? Well, Q is what we're solving for. That is heat. And it can be in joules or it can also be in calories. Joules is our SI unit of measurement. M is mass, and that can be measured in grams. Specific heat, and this is specific for whatever substance we're looking at. In this problem, we are looking at water, and the specific heats for water is either one calorie per gram degree Celsius or 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. And finally, delta, that's that symbol right there. T is the change in temperature. So let's go ahead and isolate all our variables in our problem. How much energy? That is what we are solving for. And that variable is Q. In calories and in joules, will it take to raise the temperature of 75 grams? That is our mass of water from 20 to 55 degrees Celsius. Okay, and that is our delta T. Down here, we're, we've got two different specific heats. Okay, and for the first problem, we're going to solve for joules. Let's go ahead and plug all those numbers in. Mass is 75 grams. There's our specific heat. And our change in temperature is 55 minus 20 degrees, or 35 degrees Celsius. And when we do that, you can see grams over grams cancels out. Degrees Celsius over degrees Celsius cancels out. And we are left with joules as our unit of measurement. Multiplying all that together, we get an answer of 10,983 joules. But since we only have three significant figures here and three significant figures here and here, we are going to put our answer into three significant figures at the most. When we round up, we get 11,000 joules. So that's if we solve it for joules. Let's go ahead and solve it for our calories now. Same problem, but this time we are going to use this specific heat, okay? 75 grams, mass is still the same, one calorie per gram degree Celsius. And again, our variables, our, uh, sorry, our units of measurement cancel out and we are left with calories. So 75 times one times 35 gives us an answer of 2,625 calories, but again, we want to put that in significant figures. So we're going to round two up because it's followed by five. So our final answer will be 2,630 calories.